digestion of food. The process of digestion is accompanied by mechanical and chemical processes. Digestion in mouth. Digestion of food begins in the mouth. The food ingested is masticated by teeth chewed and broken into smaller particles so that large surface area is provided for the action of enzymes. The food is mixed with saliva secreted by salivary glands which moistens and lubricates the food and aids in swallowing. The masticated food is rolled into a ball or bolus by the tongue and passed through the pharynx into a cephagus by swallowing or deglutition. During this process, the epiglottis closes and prevents the food from entering the trachea windpipe. The food is passed along the cephagus by contraction and relaxation of its muscular walls called peristalsis. Peristalsis forms a wave forcing the food to the stomach. Saliva is alkaline in nature. It contains an enzyme called salivary amylase and lysosome. Amylase converts starch into maltose. Lysozyme present in saliva acts as an antibacterial agent that prevents infections. Starch. In the presence of salivary amylase, pH 6.8, produces maltose. Digestion in stomach. Internally, stomach wall is lined by mucous membrane. A number of glands called gastric glands are present in this membrane. Gastric glands have three major types of cells. One, mucous neck cells secrete mucus. Two, peptic cells secrete proenzyme pepsinogen. And three, oxyntic cells which secrete HCL. The stomach stores the food for four to five hours. The food mixes thoroughly with an acidic gastric juice of the stomach by churning movements of its muscular wall and is called chyme. The pepsinogen on exposure to HCL gets converted to active pepsin. Pepsin converts proteins into proteoses and peptones. Pepsinogen, in the presence of HCL, converts Pepsin. Proteins in the presence of pepsin converts to proteoses and peptones. Renin is proteolytic enzyme found in gastric juice of infants which helps in the digestion of milk proteins. It causes curding of milk. This enzyme disappears as the child grows. HCL present in gastric juice kills the bacteria swallowed along with the food. The mucus and bicarbonates present in the gastric juice play an important role in lubrication and protection of mucosal epithelium from excoriation by the highly concentrated HCL. Lipase converts fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Duodenum. The bile, pancreatic juice and intestinal juice are the secretions released into the small intestine. The bile released into the duodenum contains bile pigments, bilirubin and biliverdin, bile salts, cholesterol and phospholipids, but no enzymes. Bile helps in emulsification of fats, that is, breaking down of fats into very small micelles. Bile also activates lipases.